Hello students, today let us see a problem from the topic Inclusion Exclusion Principle that comes under the chapter Combinatorics. So the question may be asked in either of the way. Find the number of integers from 1 to 250 that are divisible by any of the integers 2, 3, 5 or 7. The same thing can be given in this way also. Find the uh, almost the same procedure but in the last there, may, there will be some deviation. Find the number of integers between 1 and 250 that are not divisible by any of the integers 1, uh, 2, 3, 5 and 7. Before starting the problem, first of all let me introduce a floor function of x. Floor function of x is the greatest integer that is less than or equal to x. Just uh, neglecting the decimal part. So floor function of 22.22 is also 22 and floor function of 22.9 is also 22. So let me define set A, B, C, D in this way. Set A is the set of integers between 1 and 250 that are divisible by 2. Set B is the set of integers that are uh, divisible by 3 and the same number 1 to 250. Set C is the set of integers divisible by 5. Set D is the set of integers divisible by 7. Now, number of integers that are, that are divisible by 2 is given by the floor function of 250, the total integers divided by which number it has to divide. So, by 2, so 125. Proceeding like this, we get uh, cardinality of B. Number of integers that are divisible by 3, floor function of the total number of integers 250 divided by which number it has to divide 3 uh, it has to be divisible by so 3 250 by 3 is 83.3 and the floor function gives only the integer part 83 so in this way number of uh, integers that are divisible by 5 250 by 5 50 number of integer divisible by 7 250 by 7 35.7 take the floor function we will get 35 and let us find out the two element sets a intersection b a intersection c a intersection d b intersection c b intersection d c intersection d there will be six such combination for four sets six combinations will be there just note down so a intersection b integers that are divisible by 2 and 3 both the integer 2 and 3 that is 6 so 250 by 6 take the integer floor function 41 a intersection c 2 and 5 that is 10 25 a intersection d 2 and 7 14 17 b intersection d integers that are divisible by 3 and 5 15 divide take floor function 16 b intersection d divisible by 3 and 7 21 250 by 21 divide take the floor function 11 c intersection d divisible by 5 and 7 35 250 by 35 divide 7.14 take the floor function 7 now three sets three such combination four such combination will be there a intersection b intersection c divisible by 2 3 5 2 3 5 is 30 so 250 divide by 30 8 take the floor function 8 a intersection b intersection d 2 3 7 that is 42 250 divisible by uh, divide by 42 5.9 take the floor function 5 a intersection c intersection d 2 3 uh, 5 and 7 70 when we divide we will get 3.57 take floor function 3 b intersection c intersection d 3 5, 7, 105, 250 by 105, 2 point something we will get, take the floor function 2. Now all the four combination, A intersection, B intersection, C intersection, D, divisible by 2, 3, 5 and 7, 250 by 2, 10 and it is only one integer. Now integers that are divisible by any one of these integers, A union, B union, C union, D. By inclusion principle, in exclusion principle, we have to take single element, summation of single element sets 
and subtraction of double element sets then addition of three three element sets and then subtraction of four element sets so when we apply these values we will get 194 and the second part integers that are not divisible by 2 3 5 and 7 total integers minus integers that are divisible by any of the integer 194 so sorry this is 193 not 194 so 250 minus 193 is 57 that are the number of integers that are not divisible by 2 3 5 and 7 so with this the problem is over let us see another problem in the next video thank you